come off like we had it down pretty good, or like halfway through some we had it down pretty good. I don't know if ten or fifteen minutes. We hear a lot about Tanner's poise and ability to kind of stay even keel, but we also see some fire when he gets to running and when you guys score that touchdown and a big fist pump from him. Like, what do you see from him throughout a game emotion wise? Like, being able to keep it in check and let it out when he needs to. Yeah, Tanner, Tanner's like the, the, the best leader you could have. You know, he's the best player that you have for the team. But Tanner, he's like the ultimate competitor. He competes in everything he does. And, uh, me personally, I'm pretty sure the offense is going to all agree with me. Like, when things aren't going right, we're going to look at Tanner. See how Tanner reacts. We know Tanner's going to react the right way every time. He's going to lead us the right way. What well, did you expect from Jackson Apple today? And you know, what did you like from what you saw? Yeah, I thought seeing Jackson out there was awesome. It really wasn't a surprise to me because I know how talented that running back room is. So, uh, of course, when Chess went down, we all were we all were hurt. You know, we all worried about how things were going in the running back room. But we had guys step up like Jackson did today, and uh, I look forward to watching him here. Well. It seemed like they played a lot of off coverage to kind of limit those slot fades. When you see that coverage, do you kind of anticipate more out routes and a lot more volume in that regard? Um, yeah, so, yeah, they were playing a little bit softer today, so it's kind of hard to kind of get past them on deeper routes and uh, stuff like that. But a lot of the offense is kind of just taking what the defense gives us. So if they want to drop drop eight guys in coverage or drop deeper coverage, we'll put it underneath you know, like we did today. So I feel like that was kind of the situation today. Another question for Tanner Mordecai, just because – Ability to escape pressure and make something out of nothing. How much do you think that changes things for you, for your offense? And yeah, I feel like it really enhances everything we can do on offense because it doesn't just allow defenses to just play the pass, play the run. They got to count for Tanner and what he can do with his legs. Significant volume, eleven targets, not as many, you know, across the board. Did you know, come kind, of, kind of coming into this game, based on their tendencies, that you were going to see this type of volume? Uh, I didn't really anticipate the targets, but uh, Coach Brown always tells me. Well, it tells everybody in the room that's always expect the ball because you never know when the ball's coming your way. And when the ball comes your way, you don't want to be sleeping. You want to be ready to make a play. So I feel like that was big there. What did he do today that everybody's over there talking to? Him? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, that was awesome seeing Rico make that play. Rico's he's been one of my best friends ever since I got here in the uh, in the winter. So watching him ball out the last two weeks is awesome. You know what happened to him last year in his history? Oh, he yeah. started and then – Yeah, I know he started in the, uh, the Michigan State game. Everybody talks about the Michigan State game. But – uh. He know he knows he's got a he knows where he was and where he is now. He's a lot more confident now. And, uh, I think that moment really humbled him, yeah. and I feel like I saw that humble humblest no humblest as he went into the training this winter and spring ball fall came. I saw his attitude and whole demeanor change. So I feel like that was, that was awesome. Talking to uh, talking to Coach Fickle, he said how he thought you were a perfect fit for this program. Named you as like one of three guys that he really thought was a perfect fit from Cincinnati. What it, you know, what does that mean to you? And also, do you feel that you were one of the perfect fits, kind of coming into this team? Yeah, hearing, hearing some like Coach Fix say that, uh, that's awesome because uh, I feel like I really bought into the things that Coach Fix and uh, all the coaches really at Cincinnati were preaching, and I feel like that's why I made the transition here so smooth for me because I was bought in and I knew what they were about, they knew what I was about, so it was really just a perfect fit. Can you say that Tanner's the ultimate competitor? You know, maybe something that we haven't seen from practice or like from a meeting where you can tell like this guy's really locked in, he's really fiery about you know, winning everything he can. Yeah, he's yeah, he's fired up in the in the weight room. So that's that's probably the number one example I can give you besides the uh besides on the field. But uh oh, you guys probably saw it on social media how we like, we're always doing comparing stuff in the weight room and Tanner just hates losing that type of stuff. I think me and him were paired up for one of the uh competition we lost and he was he was he was pissed off. So I, I, he was mad at me, so I know I had to bounce back after that. But, uh, yeah, Tanner, he's literally going to compete in everything he does.